As a result of what happened earlier this evening, it will be for the CZW Tag Team Championship, Nick Gage and Nate Hatred defending against the Hate Club, White Beater and Justice Payne. However, if they, those two men right there, do not regain those belts in five minutes, they get June Kasai and Sandig. Justice Payne got his own attitude back. The attitude that won him the CZW heavyweight title. The law still fresh in the mind of those two men to Nick Gage and Nate Hatred. It all happened three days ago. One of the most historic shows ever in the history of this company. And it was at the expense of the big deals who stuck their nose in their business. And of course, it was those two men who had the final laugh that night in Froggies. And Hitman, it's been a long, long time since Justice Payne and Nick Gage have opposed each other here in Sewell, New Jersey. The two pioneers of this company, two kids that built the company on their blood, on their sweat, and their guts. Two kids at breaking the barrier who stole the show in a staple gun match high above Viking Hall, the ECW arena with the ladder involved. Two kids, no strangers to each other here at CTW. The tag team champions got Dewey Donovan, but the hate club's got Max Smack and the brains behind the hate club just in case he's back. Just in case is back, Max Mack is back. Of course, Nate Hatred and the White Beater have traded the Iron Man title on several occasions. Very familiar with each other. And of course, Nick Gage and the White Beater. It was just outside in the parking lot and one of the bloodiest matches in the history of this company for us at Light Bulbs. Those two guys also not strangers to each other. And Nate Hatred is a sick, sick man. Big tag team title rematch, here we go! It was only about 10 days ago in Japan where the White Beater practically killed Yamakawa. White Beater with a leapfrog over, and a big power slam by the Beater! Look at the intensity! I told you the Hate Club was back! They got the fire back! And White Beater, Look, he's gonna go for a figure four. Thought the wife beater was gonna have a moment of self-gratification. Big sledgehammer to the back. Good red suplex. You see the velocity behind that suplex? What do you think about Rob Hardtop refereeing this match? Rob who? And Justice Payne hits the ring like a ball of fire all over his rival, Nick Gage. The Hate Club doing the right thing. They're making it a fast match. They only have five minutes. Nick Gage with the schoolboy. Rory Obo. Oh no, a schoolboy by Justice Payne. Hartog in the way. And Wife Peter, as part of Team CZW, leaving the boss, Zandig, by himself, along with Jun Kasai and Corkin Hall. Again, only 10 days ago, and Zandig and the Crazy Monkey have not forgotten about that one. And it was only three days ago. Choke slam into a knee. He practically broke the kid in half. It was only three days ago in Dover, Delaware, when the head club beat her, and Justice Payne left the hard ball. Beaten and battered and bloody and far wire wrapped around his head. As Tommy Dreamer said, it was the most extreme thing that he's ever seen. Tommy Dreamer got the mic just minutes after and said that was more extreme than ECW ever was. And that is a sign of respect. I can't believe they did what they did to the boss and actually lived to see another day. If it wasn't for Drew Kasai, Tommy Dreamer may be here tonight defending his newly won CZW title and a Northern Light suplex and a kick out. And again, 
and the crazy monkey brought over from Big Japan by Zandig to even out the sides of this war between himself and the hate club. And Justice Payne, a former heavyweight champion of the world who was on a tear until Zandig returned and decided to play his little games once again. Justice Payne's got to get over and tag the beater. And he did. They must have heard you. They must have only got about two minutes left. Again, when the time does expire, out will come Zandig and the crazy monkey. And that monkey is nuts. It's like a rabid monkey. Look at White Beater, the power behind those blows. And of course, all we've seen in the last four months are nothing but surprises by the hate club, surprises by Zandig and the big deals. Any more surprises to late hit man? The hate club has to continue to use high impact moves if they think they're gonna score a pinfall within five minutes. Are you listening to me? I asked you if there are any more surprises. I never listen to you, man. And a big slap suplex there by the white beater. And just in case, very intimidating at ringside. Both like white beater setting him up for a roundhouse. And a big belly to belly. Benet Hatred, textbook style. Magnum TA would be proud of that one. That was a beautiful textbook suplex. And the champions in complete control. This count, Dewey Donovan of ringside must be very happy right now with his men. And another big power slam. And another. And White Peter's been power slamming the hell out of these two. Big clothesline over the top, courtesy of the former heavyweight champion of the world. And one has to wonder, Hitman, the hate club, how will they function as the match goes on? They have had their problems as of late. I told you, Justin Case is back. There are no problems. The family has been bonded again. And the wife beater, one of the toughest SOPs that you will ever see come down the pike. Wife beater is the man. He's the measuring stick in the combat zone, regardless what anyone else has to say. And listen to the chair shots all over the back of Nate Hatred. And Max Smack and the white beater setting up a couple chairs. There's only got to be about 90 seconds left, Hitman. Maybe 60, maybe less. I sure hope Rob Hartog isn't keeping time. And they are using every chair in the building practically. Hartog can't even count to three. How's he going to tell time? Look at Max Smack and the white beater trying to work as quick as they can knowing they only have five minutes until out will come the crazy monkey and the heavyweight champion of the world. Just in case out to help out. Look at Justice Payne beating the hell out of Nate Hatred on the other side. And Nick Gage poised in position. Looks like he's going to come off the top rope. And Nick Gage takes out his own partner in the process. What the hell is that? Right now, all four men down, and the clock is ticking until the crazy monkey and Zandig will emerge. I've been looking forward to that match for three days. The wounds are still fresh in the body of Zandig and the crazy monkey. I've never seen him beaten that bad before. Nate Hatred takes the white Peter back inside the ring. Again, the chair set up. I don't think Hatred has seen it yet. You would have to think the hate club very aware of the setup. And Nick Gage has the adrenaline running up and down his body. Nick Gage and the white Peter right now. Looks like they're gonna foil him at his own hands as they slam him all over those chairs that he set up himself. Oh, what they don't see is Justice Payne sneaking in. Big suplex by Justice Payne. And a big clothesline almost took the head off of Justice Payne. Five minutes is up. up. And here come the big deals. And the boss has got me. 
major issues with Justice Payne. And Sandy, right over, right all over Justice Payne. And the crazy monkey is back. And the crazy monkey, one of the sickest wrestlers you will ever see, has no regard for his own body. And Nate Hatred brawling towards the back with Justin Cates. Look at the crazy monkey. Look at the look on his face. Looks like a hockey player. This was a brilliant plan by the boss. Have the tag team champions soften up the hate club, and they come in and take down the trash. I don't even know if they are medically clear to compete tonight after what we saw in Delaware. And the wife beater outside of the ring right now with Zandig. A lot of history between those two. Big clothesline by the beater. Again, they tried to put their differences aside for the good of Combat Zone Wrestling over at Big Japan Wrestling, and it all ended pretty quickly. The big sky high there by Justice Payne. Big snap suplex there. Justice Payne all over the crazy monkey. A veteran of the banana barbed wire death matches. Goes for the cradle. On his feet. Calling out. A German suplex and a bridge. Where's Hart? Where is the official at? And wife beater all over Zandig. Look at the history between those two. Zandig reversal. And a reverse inverted, excuse me, implant DDT there by the crazy monkey. The big boot to the face. He's got Justice Payne right where he wants him. And it's gonna take a murder to end this feud. Big leap over. And Sandy with a big power bomb on the way. Justice Payne upstairs. And a big reverse blockbuster there by Justice Payne. This one's gotta be over. And the champs have retreated to the locker room. The belt's not on the line. They are done for the evening. Wife Peter and Zed, they've been all over the building. What's it going to take to end this feud? DDT out of nowhere. What's it going to take to end this? Justice pain is laid out. Enough is enough already. And the crazy monkey is leaving the ring. And he just put his sunglasses on his goggles. This Jew can size a madman. This guy's nuts. The crazy monkey just put on his flying glasses. What's going on, guard Julo? I can't they are see setting up the wife beater right now. The wife beater set up on a table. Looks like he's about to be sacrificed. It looks like he is a sacrificial lamb at the hands of the big deals. And the crazy monkey has scaled the tree. The crazy monkey will sacrifice his own body for the good of the big deals. And Justice Payne is laid out in the ring. He's got his flying glasses on. The monkey's gonna fly. He just killed, he just killed the white beater. We just saw a murder. Somebody call 911 because we just it's saw a murder. The wife beater is not moving. The wife beater is not moving. Now we have a we have a four on one now. We need to get some EMTs out of here because the wife beater is not moving. I don't even know if he's breathing. Look at Dewey, he's already got the belt. The wife beater is in serious trouble. Hitman. Look, Zandig and the crazy monkey both still pounding on the wife beater. Hitman, the wife beater right now. I have never seen the wife beater in this kind of shape. I have never seen the wife beater at this much of a disadvantage. Never in my lifetime. They are bringing them back to the ring. Enough is enough. The enough is, is enough. Them. The boss is helping them back. He is so sick. He is sacrificing one of the biggest stars of his own company for the good of this feud. Enough is enough. The wife beater needs some. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Somebody pull the big deals off of the wife beater. Can we get some help out here? 
Let's get some help out here. And the wife beater can't even stand on his own two feet. We have a victory, but we also have a problem. I have never seen the wife beater in this kind of trouble, Hitman. Enough! Enough is enough! It's not about business! It's, and Justice Payne can't move! Enough is enough! And look at the wife beater! Just staring into the eyes of that chair! About to knock him upside the head! And the boys have seen enough! And Lord, the locker room's empty! Ending. The locker room's empty! We got a rumble in here! Enough is enough! Enough is enough! We're a team! We're a family! Nobody likes the hate club, but we all respect each other! Enough is enough! And Hitman, in the 11 months that I have been employed by this company, I have never, and I mean ever, have seen Justice Payne and the wife beater in this kind of condition. I have, n I have to agree with you. I I've never seen it. Who would have ever thought we would see them like this? <laughs> Somebody cut his mic. RC, can you cut his mic? RC, can you cut his mic? RC, can you cut his mic? You sick son of a bitch. Justice Payne is not moving. Will there be a next week for the white beater at Justice Payne? Did you ever think in your wildest dreams you would see Lobo come to the aid of the wife beater at Justice Payne? Keep him home. Somebody cut his mic. We need a doctor in there. He's and booking matches before he leaves. What do you mean, shut up? And finally, Justice Payne able to get to his knees. And in my lifetime, I have never seen the hate club in this kind of condition. What will happen next? It's going to have to end with a murder, this thing. It's going to have to end with a murder. Hey, man, in just seven days in Smyrna, it could all come to an end. In one night, the hate club gains all their momentum, and in one night, it all gets taken away. And the wife beater led to the back by the EMTs and the boys for the Hitman John House. My name is Eric Arjulo, and we will see you in seven days in hell in Smyrna.